What's going on, yo? It's J.D. Pakel. Today on CFB with J.D., we're going to be breaking down the game of the Oklahoma Sooners' new signal caller, Dylan Gabriel. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel for every single thing that you know, that you love about college football. It happens here on this channel on YouTube nearly every single day. Would love to have you subscribe. Also, quick note, thank you so much to the 2,000 plus of you that have subscribed so far. We're extremely grateful for you. Would love to have all of your friends join as well. We can keep growing that number and just increase this community exponentially. Also, follow me on Twitter, at JD Paquel. We do snippets from the show. We do chalk talk breakdowns. We do polls. We do questions. We try to incorporate our audience as much as possible into the operation. Y'all drive the show, and that's one way you can contribute. Armstrong, Sims, Jack McKenzie, they make the magic happen. So, in terms of magic, Dylan Gabriel makes a little magic happen as well. He's the new signal caller for the Oklahoma Sooners. At the time of this recording, Jackson Dart has not made a decision. So right now, it's Dylan Gabriel's job in Norman. We're going to look at his game. Not so much schematics this time around. We'll do that in a future video. Let's look at Dylan Gabriel's skill set and what he brings to the table in Norman. One thing I love so much about his game, he knows how to place the football. He's more than just accurate. He understands where that ball needs to be for his receiver to make a catch. Right here, shows great mobility and feels the rush. They're going to go ahead and bring a couple and spy you for a minute. Looking, looking, no one there. Breaks, the, breaks contain his eyes. They stay downfield. Look at where his head's at. A lot of quarterbacks would duck and just try and get up here, pick up a couple yards, pick up the first down. Not Dylan Gabriel. Eyes, eyesight is staying directly over here on this receiver. He's looking for someone to throw the football to. He's a passer first, runner second. Gets around the corner. So at this point, it's a broken play. As a receiver, you're told, hey, when it breaks down, if you're the deepest receiver, get back to the sideline and get downhill. And that's what man does right here. He's running essentially right now a broken off comeback. So he ran a corner down here, coming back to the pylon. Right now, it's hard to tell from this picture, he has a defensive back trailing him on the inside, meaning his sideline is on his right shoulder, defensive back on his left. Dylan Gabriel is running down to the pylon, and he puts it on the outside shoulder. Look at where the ball is, right here. If he puts it inside, my man right here has got a chance to take it and run it back. Great placement by Dylan Gabriel. Really, there's like a, a foot and a half, two feet maybe, of where he can fit that football into. Does a great job knowing where he can miss, meaning if it's an errant throw, I mean, you get, you get the ball back. It's incomplete pass. If it's a bad miss to the inside, like I said, pick six. So great throw right here on the outside. Let's watch that one more time. Rolling out. Boom. Good shot. Third time just for enjoyment. Knowing where to miss with the football. Great placement. Now, he's good on the run, but God, there was a great deep ball too. And right here, we'll watch his man up here. We got one-on-one, -on -one, meaning he's got him, and that's it. So Dylan Gabriel, you got a shot. If you trust your guy, if he wins... Put it on him. Reads it very quickly right here. Looks off the safety. That's crucial. Watch his eyes. He checks right here. He knows he's going back here the whole time. That little glance. Boom, right there. Looks him off. Goes deep. Now, similar to the last play, look where this defensive back is. He is right there in his hip pocket. It's not actually horrible coverage like to see him a little bit more parallel, but he's actually got a decent shot at this football right now. If Dylan Gabriel, again, if he hangs it inside, it's a 50-50 ball. Defensive back can make a play and turn it back over in a 0-0 game early on. That's crucial for momentum, but what he does, puts it high and puts it on the outside shoulder away from the DB and into the bread basket for his receiver. So watch the motion of the receiver when he catches it. He's going to make one of these. He's not just tracking it inside. He's going to go one of these on the outside shoulder, which is exactly where you need to put it. Look at that. Just how you drew it up. Look at that. Outside shoulder. He's reaching on the inside. Again, if he leaves it inside, you got problems. So just knowing where to place the football, one of the things I love so much about this kid's game. Now, in addition to that, I love the way he can throw off of an awkward platform. That's a term you hear a lot of quarterback coaches say. You hear that around NFL draft time every April. What does that mean? Well, when you're talking about a platform, talking about the base of the quarterback, meaning 
if I have a standard platform, if my platform is stable, I'm right here. I'm ready to throw a punch. I'm ready to take off and run. I am ready to deliver the most power from my hips to throw to my target. Dylan Gabriel, he says, I, I can do that. I like to do that, but I don't need that. I can, have, I can be like this. I can be off balance. It doesn't matter what kind of platform you give me. My arm talent is good enough to where I can still get the ball to where it needs to go. So right here, we got someone coming hot off the edge. We got play action. We have our tight end making a little up and under flat route. So what happens is Dylan Gabriel has someone in his lap very, very quickly, as we'll see right here. He has to get the ball out hot. Doesn't have time to set his feet. Right here. Look at this. Grown man in your living room right now. Look at where his feet are. He is falling away like Michael Jordan fade away. Just getting some touch on it. Doesn't need to be a bullet. Doesn't need to be perfect in stride. Just get it to your guy. Get it over the defensive lineman. Give him a chance to make a play. Awkward platform throws. Crucial, especially in today's day and age of athletic defensive backs. And athletic, honestly, front seven. And this is just stupid right here. We'll watch another platform throw. Awkward platform throw, I should say. Looking, 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 breaks contain. That's fine, nothing there. Right here, able to make him miss. I love this part right here. This guy comes free. Right here, obviously he's setting up to throw. He sees his man is open. At this point though, he knows he's gonna take a shot. Like he has a free runner, tried to buy us some time, buddy, I'm sorry, but he got free. You took a long time to throw the football. It's kind of on you. He knows he's gonna take a shot. What do you do? Awkward platform, doesn't have his feet under him, keeps running, but finishes through the throw. Delivers a rope to his man. Receiver does the rest. Makes a great play there, getting in the end zone. But it's plays like that where Dylan Gabriel, he doesn't need a super clean pocket. That play right there, he bought a little bit of time. He doesn't need a super clean, perfect pocket to be able to get the ball where it needs to go. And that's something you can't really teach. A lot of natural ability from Dylan Gabriel. In terms of natural ability, He's got a lot of speed. He's not going to be, or should, let me say that again. He's got a lot of athleticism. He's probably a 4'7", 4'8", kind of guy. He can still hurt you with his legs, especially on the read option game. Expect Jeff Levy to imp uh, implement this in the offense going forward. He used it a lot with Matt Corral a season ago. Don't think we'll see number 11. I guess he's going to be number 8, actually, in Norman. Don't think he'll get as many design quarterback runs, but he can still hurt you in the red zone. So right here, typical read option. If he crashes and comes down, we're pulling it. He comes upfield. We're giving it. Right here. I know I'm pulling it. I know I'm pulling it. Ball's out. Let's get out and about. Linebackers are in. Right here. This is impressive. A less athletic quarterback would have gotten tackled. Watch this man. Does actually a good job getting off his block right here. The speed of Dylan Gabriel gets him around the edge. Oh, just fast enough. I love this right here. Slide. Protect yourself. You don't need to be Matt Corral taking on linebackers, making statement plays every other down. That's great. Get the sideline fired up. What deflates the sideline is having your quarterback go off the field in a stretcher. Dylan Gabriel protects himself really well. I told you you can do it in the read option game. You can also do it when the play breaks down. Doesn't look to run, but when he has to, He's shifty. He's not crazy fast like I just mentioned. He can shake and bake a little bit and make some plays for his offense. Right here, it's Bethune-Cookman, but I don't care. Watch this play. Not a lot of heat. We got someone coming free. Missed a block. That's fine. Get out. Break and tan like we've seen him do. Now turn the corner, guy. Turn the corner. Nice. So at this point right here, look at this. We're probably getting out of bounds, right? If, if we're a professional quarterback, if we are a little less athletic. We're probably fine to just get out of bounds, take an eight yard gain. Maybe you get to the first down, get out of bounds. Dylan Gabriel gets there, says, well, I got a little more space. He thought he was going out of bounds too. Look at, man's crisscrossed up here. He's not making the tackle. He's just kind of gliding. Again, he doesn't look like he's running very fast. Gliding, gets around, find your blockers right here. Got a block here, follow him. He's not trying to just make it all happen himself. He's following his blockers. He's shifty. Again, he is a very effortless athlete. Tight ropes the sideline. We're in the end zone. So Dylan Gabriel, he should be your quarterback here. Game one. Again, Jackson Dart's not committed right now. If they have a quarterback derby, it'll be amazing. But what I love so much about Dylan Gabriel, again, accuracy, yes, even more so where he places the football. Very savvy. Second, can throw off of awkward platforms. Perfect offensive lineman is great, 
but a perfect offensive line doesn't exist. He can get the ball where it needs to go, regardless of the pressure. And then lastly, like we just watched, he's mobile. He's not a run-first quarterback. You're not going to run quarterback power 20 times a game. But when it breaks down, get you some yards. Red zone, read option, it's all there for you. Very complete player. Fans of Norman should be very, very excited about getting DG onto their squad. That's it for us here at CFB with JD. Again, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. We do Chalk Talks on there as well. We'll probably post some snippets there, I would imagine. We're going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time.